Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another get the look video, this time with Rebecca Bloomwood inspired outfits. And if you're new and you stumbled across this video, welcome. My name is Patty. You'll see a new video from me here every Thursday and every Sunday. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. All right, guys, so I guess this is episode two of Get the Look. I started this whole Get the Look with inspired um, outfits of TV characters, movie characters, and I got so much great feedback with the first video that I did. If you have not seen that one, I'll leave the link um, up here and down below. And that one, I was doing Olivia Pope inspired looks. It got so much great feedback, so I kind of want to create a little series of this. And for today, we are doing Rebecca Bloomwood inspired outfit and if you don't know who Rebecca Bloomwood is she is the main character of one of my favorite favorite movies played by Isla Fisher and it's Confessions of a Shopaholic that's like one of my top 10 favorite movies ever I can probably quote 80% of this movie. The movie is basically she is a journalist who's addicted to retail therapy. She lands in credit card debt and ironically ends up working for a magazine doing column with financial um, advice and her outfits were absolutely on her outfits were office attire but with a fun and colorful twist to all of them. She was very fashion forward, not afraid to take risks. So if that's your style where you're very fashion forward, you're not afraid to combine two pieces that nobody would ever thought about combining, then the outfits in this video are definitely for you. All right, so the first Rebecca Bloomwood inspired outfit, we're starting with this neon pink tank top with a midi skirt that has a nice print to it. This print is actually the exact print of a jacket that she had in one of the looks and I realized that I had the same print in a skirt so I definitely had to create a outfit with this skirt. Now again bold colors was definitely her thing so this top is super bright and super fun and the next thing we're going to do we're going to add a belt to it and she definitely wore a lot of nice kind of like fashion forward funky belts. This one here has kind of like a pearl detail to it and I love how it just kind of spruce up the outfit. Next up I'm adding a pair of black pumps. Now these here are a pan and leather material. Again none of her um, outfits and none of her pieces or accessories were boring. They always had a little extra something to it and I felt like these are black pumps with the shiny pan and leather material were definitely perfect. Now we're going to be adding a jacket to this look. Like I said the movie took place in the winter time so she definitely wore a lot of nice coats. This one here is in the color pink just to kind of play off with the neon pink. She loved the bright bold colors and I feel like these two pinks mixed together with the pattern of the skirt definitely stands out. And the jacket itself is very girly and has details to it. It has a little bit of kind of like a puff around the sleeves and has kind of like a pearl detail as well um, on the sleeves and also as the buttons going down. This jacket is definitely Definitely very Rebecca Bloomwood. It's very girly, very bright and fun. And then for the bag, I went with this Henry Bendel tote. It has a nice design to it with a little bit of color um, added to the bag. She definitely wore a lot of um, totes and her totes again were full of color or they had a nice pattern to it. Another element that I added to this look was a pair of grave fuzzy gloves. She definitely wore a lot of fun accessories, a lot of fun um, colorful gloves and adding these gloves to the mix I definitely think it gave it that nice Rebecca Bloomwood touch. <laughs> The next Rebecca Bloomwood inspired outfit, we're starting here with a blue dress. Now this blue dress is a nice classic blue dress. This is definitely a color that she would definitely wear. Now I'm going to be adding some elements to this 
outfit i'm gonna be adding a belt around the waist these two colors together are definitely very unexpected and very out of my comfort zone but looking at rebecca bloomwood's outfit she would definitely pair like two totally uh different colors that you wouldn't think would go together nicely and that's how i felt with this blue dress and red belt i'm also going to be adding a pair of hosiery to the look something that she also worn and again she never did anything plain or boring these hosieries here have a little bit of print to it a little bit of a design that's definitely a very rebecca bloomwood touch and next for the shoes i'm adding a pair of red pumps a pair of red bold pumps again adding another bold color into this mix is something she would definitely do she definitely wore a lot of pretty pumps these here have a nice studded detail all around now moving on to the outerwear i added a printed jacket to the look this one is a black and white houndstooth print and i feel like it matched perfectly with the mix of the red and blue she definitely wore a lot of pretty printed um bold jackets if they weren't a bright bold color they were definitely a bright bold pattern then for the back selection i'm adding a color block tote again she wore a lot of great totes that had Add nice bright colors I feel like this color black one definitely mixed in very well with the colors to kind of create a nice Rebecca Bloomwood look <laughs> And the next Rebecca Bloomwood inspired look, I'm starting here with a printed pencil skirt and also a white top. Now this white blouse is definitely not your plain average button down. This one is a little bit off the shoulders with a round collar around it. Again, Rebecca Bloomwood's character was nothing out of the ordinary. All her stuff was definitely very fashion forward. So I thought this um, blouse here would definitely work perfect for a look inspired by her now comes the fun part I'm gonna be adding some elements to this look the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a belt she definitely wore a lot of belts a big ones, skinny ones this one here is the same one from the first look it has that pearl detail all around and then next for the shoes I'm gonna be doing a pair of coral pumps I feel like this is a great color to kind of add to this look that works very well with the characters style and I wanted to add a Another fashion forward touch to it a pair of ankle socks and these socks have polka dots to it with a little bit of ruffle around the trim I feel like this was very fashion forward very Rebecca Bloomwood something the character would definitely wear I feel like this character has definitely brought my style out of character very fashion forward not afraid to take risk and definitely mixing a lot of bold colors which is totally the opposite of me now I'm going to be adding the jacket to the look and this one is a trench jacket in a bright bold orange color. I feel like it contrasted very well with the coral pumps and definitely added that nice bright bold color to the look. And then for the back selection another tote to it. She definitely wore a lot of totes. This one here is in the color cream just to kind of add another color element to this look. And the last Rebecca Bloomwood inspired outfit is this dress here. This is a red kind of skater style dress with a little bit of a sweetheart cut on the top. I added underneath it a polka dot top and again these are two um, elements elements that she would definitely mix together the top does have something you can tie around the neck so I kind of tied it up into a bow just to kind of give it a nice a girly touch and again as you can see two bold colors together a bold red dress mixed in with a bold blue polka dot top two bold things coming together for a nice fashion forward statement then I added a pair of hosiery to this look and again not plain hosiery this one has a little bit of like a chiffon type of detail around the hosiery and for the shoes i went with a pair of black pumps and these are the same ones from the first look a pair of 
black patent leather pumps. For the outerwear, I went with a short cropped jacket and this one is kind of like in that cozy fuzzy material and I felt like this was a definitely an unexpected element to this outfit. She did wore a lot of long jackets um, in a few outfits. She did have some short cropped ones so I definitely wanted to experiment one outfit with that type of jacket. And then for the bag, another tote in the color blue and this one is also pan and leather. I also added a nice little accessory to it, a black and white polka dot uh, bandana to it, which is something she would definitely do just to kind of add a little more to her look. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Those were four Rebecca Bloomwood inspired outfits. Comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. Do you identify with this character's style? Are you very fashion forward, mixing colors and bold prints? Comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know which character do you want me to style next. Leave me the character in the comments down below. I'll be if so you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The link is down below. You'll see a new video from me here every Thursday and every Sunday. And that is it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.